few clouds here and there, especially midday when a lot of those um, performances begin at noon. Uh, but otherwise, it's very comfortable. I know some years, boy, you can be sweltering out on the tarmac there at Mather, but cool and sunny to start when the gates open. And again, around midday when those uh, performances begin, a few clouds will be around. Those are those high thin clouds kind of shielding the sunshine. That would be good. And then a bit of a breeze late today. Boy, it's just going to be beautiful with temperatures up around 80 degrees. This is what it looks like from Rancho Cordova. That's looking off to the north where we do see some haze and we do see some high thin clouds here and there. Those high thin clouds again might thicken up as we get towards midday. 55 degrees in Sacramento certainly is comfortable and cool. 51 degrees in Stockton. We're at 56 in Modesto and 29 degrees at the south shore of Lake Tahoe. There is a definite fall chill in the air there. As we look up to the north, I know the rain really catches your eye. Not a lot of that is actually reaching the ground. It's being detected by radar, but it is evaporating before it reaches the ground, but certainly goes to show you that these clouds are thicker as the farther north you head. So I think Interstate 80 and north, pretty good chance you get shielded from the sunshine for a little bit here and there. All part of this bigger weather system, this cold, pretty potent weather system that's going into the Pacific Northwest in the next 24 to 48 hours, and it will drag a front across our area, but it will fall apart as it reach, reaches our neck of the woods for the most part. And I'll show you that with future cast right now. This is the rest of today. We're in and out of those high thin clouds, especially from Interstate 80 and north, but it stays dry even up towards Redding, even up towards Eureka, likely dry through most of today. But by tomorrow morning, that rain is along the northwest coast, Eureka, Crescent City, getting some good rain, but even Lakeport and Redding, again, morning time, midday time, still dry tomorrow. Now watch as that front really approaches Redding and towards Lakeport, still holds together fairly well. Going to get a little bit of rain in Lakeport, a little bit of rain in and around Redding, maybe quarter of an inch, half of an inch, something like that, while the northwest coast gets an inch or more, but by the time it reaches us overnight, Monday night into Tuesday, watch how the rain just kind of falls apart. So there's a chance we get a little light rain measurable from 80 north and especially towards Plumas County, let's say, and into Yuba and Sutter counties, and then Sacramento and south. Probably not much rain at all, maybe a few sprinkles along the 80 corridor. Then into Tuesday morning, it all dries out and those clouds begin to thin out too. In fact, Tuesday is looking fabulous from mostly sunny sky and temperatures back in the low 80s. It will be cooler tomorrow with some gusty southerly winds at times as well. The rest of today, we're in and out of some clouds, some sunshine, a high of 67 in uh, Truckee, Quincy going to 75, uh, places like Arnold going to near 70 this afternoon. We're in the upper 70s for the most part in Jackson, Auburn at 77, our high temperature. Uh, Sonora, more sunshine here and about 80 degrees this afternoon, looking great. In the coastal hills, Lakeport, we're going to see highs in the mid-70s, partly cloudy. Fairfield, 79, San Francisco, staying underneath a lot of low clouds early with temperatures in the mid-60s there. That marine layer is there. Tracy, a high of 80 today, 82 in Stockton, 79 in Lodi. And around Sacramento, we too will hover in that 80-degree range. 79 in Davis, but about 81 in Folsom and Roosevelt today. Tomorrow, though, we drop to the upper 70s. It's a little bit more breezy as that front approaches. It's a few clouds in our skies. But again, Monday night into Tuesday morning, we might get that sprinkle. But Tuesday clears out pretty quickly in a high of 81. The rest of the work week, we're in the low to mid 80s. And even next weekend, a high near 80. All below average temperatures. We haven't enjoyed a great stretch of weather here in Northern California. Pretty grateful.